Hi, I'm Dr. Kaya Patel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to estimate anterior chamber depth with your slip van. The Van Herrick technique is a quick way of identifying people with narrow anterior chamber angles who need further investigation. Van Herrick's is often performed prior to pharmaceutical pupil dilation. Reduce the light in the room and begin by focusing a sharp optic section on the center of the cornea with medium magnification setting. With the observation system straight ahead, the illumination system should now be rotated to exactly 60 degrees and can be locked in place. Keeping the optic section in focus, move the slip over to the edge of the cornea, in this case, the temporal limbus. Position the optic section on the very edge of the temporal cornea so that you can see the curved corneal section and a second section related to the iris. These two bright beams are separated by a gap relating to the anterior chamber depth. To estimate the anterior chamber angle, compare the thickness of the corneal section to the gap between the two bright sections and grade using your preferred grading scale. If you want to check the nasal angle, you may need to move the observation system and correspondingly, the patient's fixation. To estimate the anterior chamber depth, rotate the beam horizontally and recenter it over the central cornea. Reduce the slit height until you see two separate beams. The left beam relates to the cornea and the right to the lens. Increase the slit height until they touch. Read the value of the slit height adjuster. For the SLD701, this is at the top of the illumination tower. If using the Smith method, multiply the value by 1.4 to get an estimate of the depth of the anterior chamber in millimeters. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Kaya Patel. And if you'd like this video, come back to watch more or you can learn more at Topcon Healthcare University.